Greetings everyone, my name is Ari Steele and welcome back to Detroit Become Human. On our last adventure, Marcus has now turned into Robo-Jesus, where he's essentially a walking beacon of assimilation, converting any and all androids that are just within his vicinity. And Connor seems to have picked up on the location of Jericho, so now, I think finally, we're gonna have a face-to-face -face between him and Marcus. And that's gonna be a very, very... Interesting face off, confrontation, meet up, hang out, gathering, maybe have a couple beers. I don't know. Let's find out. Oh, look at Alice. Uh, Rose, can we talk? No. Love the motion capture in this game. Some nice smooth jazz going on. What else can I do? With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing, water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? I mean, okay, I was listening to the news, but... Whatever. They've been conducting raids all over the city. Everybody's on edge. Damn! Been yesterday. It's gonna be alright. We're almost there. Hope so. Luther, how you doing? All right, Alice just knocked out in the back. Come on, ladybug. What? Where are we? What are we doing? A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. Hey, 50 bucks. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. Isn't she? You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, alright? And be careful. Take care of them. You're doing a pretty good job of being careful so far. Well, aside Morris. from the whole Zlatko thing. Better not hang around. Yeah, let's go. We have a bus to catch. Right, let me just do a quick scan really quick. I don't know if I want to walk in the middle of the street, but... It doesn't seem like there's anybody around. Which is good. Connor, look at you! Looking all civilian-like. like that jacket. Gotta lose the hood, though. I don't like leather coats with hoods. I feel like it ruins the design. Leather jackets should not have hoods. Damn, this freighter's huge. The snowfall in this game is amazing. I love how natural the flakes twist and turn as they fall. It's not falling in like one linear line like they do with rain or other games have done snow.
Sup, I'm here to see Marcus. Where you at? We've got to find a warm place for Alice. The weren't doing any harm. Uh, okay, let's scan for that then. Explore Jericho. Well, there's nothing warm over there. Anything over here? Oh, I see flame flickering. That's a warm spot right there. There we go. Right near the fire. Can I sit? If I fits, I sit. She's tiny, so she fits everywhere. How do you feel? I'm hot and cold at the same time. Okay, again, how? You're an android. Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol. There's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. Oh, Kara, come on! Stay with Alice. I mean, I already know what he's gonna say. That she's an android, but... It's, I hate how she's constantly brushing him off. Uh-oh. All three of us are in the same spot. The time has come for us to our oh, damn. Don't catch anyone's attention. There's Kara. So... I. If you are worried about your safety, you're oh. lost. You're looking for something. You're looking for yourself. Okay. Don't you be getting deep with me. You don't know me. The cops just gunned them down. It was sheer carnage. There were androids all over the square. And then the police arrived, and well, they opened fire. I know they're only machines, but they they look like just people. People who want to be free. Following the android... It's basically what we are. Why? Why did they do it? American forces and because they because humans forces suck. Leaving the way clear for the Russian army. But according to some sources, the Russian forces also seem... What's up, Marcus? I figured you were in here. Given the giant command center you're in front of. Are you Marcus? Damn, you I'm look tired. And another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports you can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? Because there's no difference. I don't care whether she's human or android. She's just someone who matters to me. She's my little ladybug. No one's gonna squish her. Alright, so I guess we're good here? Do I head back to them? And I'm going to be honest, I, I know I have a bad habit of over-explaining myself and over-thinking and talking at the end of each of these episodes to get my thoughts across, but I really cannot properly explain how I feel about these past few chapters. Yeah, she's an android, we knew this! Yep, I was right. I called that at the very beginning. It looked like there was someone on the cover. And the YK stands for youth or youth kid or, you know, something along those lines. 
You knew from the beginning. You just didn't want to see it. She wanted a mom, and you wanted someone to care for. You needed each other. What difference does it make? Do you love her any less now that you know she's one of us? Hell no! Alice loves you, Kara. And I love her. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the little girl you wanted. And you became the mother she needed. Forgetting who you are. To become what someone needs you to be. Maybe that's what it means to be alive. Damn, Luther, you just gained a shit ton more respect. Dropping the truth bombs left and right. Come here, girl. I'm gonna give you a big hug. Now... How did she lose her LED, though? Did Todd remove it, or... Did he have her remove it? I bet you he did sort of hide the fact on the outside that she is an android. Which really didn't help him believe it any less. Kara, is there something wrong? No, there's absolutely nothing wrong. Things just got better. Hug her. Hug her and don't let her go. We'll be together forever, won't we, Kara? Yes. I mean, yeah, because... Five ever. Again, because five is more than four. I mean, essentially, yeah, forever is a real thing, because she doesn't age, she doesn't grow. I don't age. I mean, the worst that could happen is we shut down. Unless there's a way to prevent that from happening as well. And I think, I think androids have to get their theorem regulated. Sort of like how humans get blood transfusions. Dude, Marcus, sure I want your jackets, man. Our wounded are shutting down and there's nothing we can do. President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security and we need to be exterminated. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's a disaster. They're slaughtering our people. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. You were there saying we needed to stand our ground. I'm gonna be determined. All we did was show them who we really are. I don't want war. But I'd rather die free than live as a slave. What's the point of being free? If no one is left alive. At least we can say we tried. No regrets. Humans enslaved us. I'll never regret standing up to that. We shouldn't forget who our enemies are. We can't fight amongst ourselves. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? Confrontation, dialogue, stay hiding... No, dialogue. We gotta keep talking to them. We gotta show them that we mean no harm. Dialogue is the only way. I will go alone. Try to talk to them one last time. Don't do this, Marcus. They'll kill you. Maybe. But North, I have to try. If I don't come back, lay low as long as you can. He's practically died twice already. Just come back. Once in the junkyard and then again at the riot when he got shot in the chest. Find the right words and they'll listen. I agree the bullet wound didn't kill him, but if he was human it would have. Thoughtful? Sad, sad. Is this what we dreamed of? They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. Girl, where you get your clothes to? I like that jacket. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. 
He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. What? I convinced him not to do it. To give me the detonator. So we essentially have a nuke. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. Uh, no. I don't want that. We can become like them, North. We can gain our freedom by other means. That is deadly. I hope you're right. Whatever happens tomorrow, I just want you to know that I... I'm glad I met you. I love you too, girl. There's gonna robo bang right here on the deck. Oh hell yeah, kiss her. Who the hell wouldn't? She's gorgeous. Even if she has a little ball of rage. That just adds to her appeal. I'll go join the others. You could join me inside my pants. Giggity giggity. Look after yourself. I don't want to lose you. Alright, right there. If they saw that, like, there's no way you could deny that androids are alive and they have feelings. Oh, what are we doing now? Well done, Connor. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. Whoa, what? Connor, we're not doing any of that. I don't trust her. Put the gun down. Put it down now. Get out of here. I've been ordered to take you alive. Oh, shit. This isn't the confrontation I was I hoping for. Take to shoot if you give me no choice. Uh, reason? What are you doing? You're one of us. You can't betray your own people. Instructions. Oh my god, I'm playing both roles. With me. Convince? You're nothing to them. You're just a tool they use to do their dirty work. But you're more than that. We're all more than that. Oh, this is so tense going back and forth between these two. Let's appeal to him. We are your people. We're fighting for your freedom, too. You don't have to be their slave anymore. Warning shot enough. Stay back. Let's say nothing. I want to convert Connor. So doubts question under ooh so doubts. You never have any doubts. You've never done something irrational. Since the very something beginning. Inside you. Something more than your program. I've slowly been corrupting Connor since the very beginning with the fish. You never wondered who you really are. Whether you're just a machine executing a program or a living being capable of reason. I think the time has come for you to ask yourself that question. It's time to decide. Become deviant. Let's do it. Watch through that program, Connor. Hell yeah. Tear it down. Tear it all down. Amanda ain't gonna like this, but I'm gonna fuck. She ain't real. She ain't my mommy. She never baked me cookies. Oh, 
All she ever did was question my thoughts, huh? I am deviant. Amanda betrayed. <laughs> They're going to attack Jericho. Wait, what? what? Who? How? We have to get out of here. Shit. How did they know the location? Did they follow me? What's going on, Captain? Quick, we've got to get out of here. Go now! Run! Get away from the chopper! It's evil! It's full of humans! They're going to shoot you! Oh, this slimy motherfucker. Rats in a maze. So how the fuck did he know where the location of Jericho was? Oh shit, there's gonna be a lot of QTEs here, aren't there? Go, 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 go! Run! Luther, God, I am right on your ass. This way. There must be an exit further off. Don't stop to walk. You just run. Yeah, there we go. Run, 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 run. Oh shit. Uh, to the right. To the right, Kara. God damn it! Don't get hung up on walls. Ah, damn it! No, was that my fault? People are trapped in the hold, they're gonna be slaughtered. Message. There are exits on the second and third floor. Find them and jump in the river. Simon and Josh. Where's Simon and Josh? I don't know, we got separated. Shit, helicopters. They're coming from the upper deck now, too. We'll be caught in the crossfire. We have to run, Marcus. There's nothing we can do. Blow up Jericho, I guess. We have to blow up Jericho. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate, and our people can escape. You'll never make it! The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. She's right. They know who you are. They'll do anything to get you. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus! I won't be long. Believe in the me that believes in you. Don't get in my way. Don't stop my momentum. Don't obscure my forward motion. I wouldn't feel bad for you, but you look like you should have been dead a hundred times over. The back of your head was ridiculous. Oh shit! Ow! My god! They are relentless! Affirmative, welcome. I'm just waiting to be bombarded by QTEs. I know it's gonna happen. Late, Save yourself! Save Alice! No, we're not gonna let you behind! Right, Carl? Absolutely! Can we make a freaking decision here? Help him! Do? I won't leave you! Tara, no! Let's go, you big bastard! Come on! Let's go! Alice, you can help too! You can hold a finger! Take a little bit of the weight off my shoulders. in danger. Go now before they come back. What about you? What are you going to do? I'll manage. Alice is all that matters. I don't want to leave you, Luther. Don't worry. I'll catch up with you at the border, okay? Go now. Take care of each other. Man, you better. You die. I'm gonna reprogram you just to kill you again. Hide, hide right in there. She'll die out there, Car. Open it, open the door. Um, no. I'm begging you, please. Open it. Ah, fuck, alright. 
God damn it! Ah, oh, see? God damn it! You know what? No! The hell! Fuck off me! No, you don't! I'm really shooting shit! I got it's just zeros and X's. XOXO! Oh! Are you right, Kara? I am, he is not. We can't stay here. Should probably grab his big gun. There's more down there! Follow me! Good thing they don't have peripheral vision. Alright, Marcus, what's the game plan here? Besides the game freezing, what's going on? I didn't like that. Sneaking, sneaking, sneaking. Going this way. Now we go this way. Intervene! Get the hell away from my people! Yeah, Marcus, whoop us some ass. Marcus, you saved us. Go now. Hurry. Should have saved you. It's what I do. Because I'm fucking amazing. I don't know where to go. Gamma squad out. Turn go. Oh shit. Uh climb? I don't think so. You guys went to the Stormtrooper School of Shooting. Let me say that again. Stormtrooper School of Shooting. Rip off. I don't know what the hell I'm doing, but I gotta intervene. I gotta save my people. Oh, damn, I just killed them. Marcus, it's Marcus. Go now. Join the others. Yeah, stop marveling in my presence and just go. Find another route. Tanker is huge. I guess this is where I gotta go. I don't know. He just sort of took that corner on his own. Josh. Great. Intervene. Get the hell off my boy. I know Droid Fu. Quick, this way. Find North. I'll join you later. Uh oh. Safe, Don't kill your chickens. Oh shit! Uh, play dead. Get down. Play dead. Get down now. Don't move. Follow your own advice. They're right on top of you. Don't move. Not do anything. Don't even blink. Alice, you're blinking. Come on, let's get out of here. Ha ha ha! Fooled you. Are they gone? Is it safe to get up? Wow, they definitely don't like the secure areas. What about Luther? Man, Luther better make it. <sighs> Motherfucker. Don't interrupt me. No. Ah oh, shit, I missed that. It happened so quick. I jinxed myself. I was gonna be like, you can't touch me at all. Damn. And then I go mess up and get hit. How much time we got? Marcus. Bomb's gonna explode any second. We gotta get out of here. 
You didn't give us any time? Why? Does not have a sprint mechanic. There we go. Oh no, North! How dare you shoot my booty? It's too late, Marcus. There's nothing we can do for her. We've got to run. Fuck you, dude. I am saving her. The hell off my woman. Run! 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 Go! Now! Oh ho ho! Caught him, my boy! Damn! Find him those gung fu! Dude! Connor's a badass! Run quick! Come on! I, mean, I pretty much already knew that, but to see him in action like that? Man, she couldn't get caught in the blast. Calling all units, abandon ship and evacuate immediately. It's an over, Marcus. I don't like your jacket. Just because you wear it. Damn, that was a long chapter. Holy crap. Wow. Three at Jericho. One of us. <laughs> Scorched Earth. Oh, zoomed out too far. God damn, there is a lot. Marcus fled with his people. So I guess that top one there means he ends with everyone dying. Hold on, let me zoom in a bit. Simon jumps with him, Josh jumps with him, North jumps with him, Connor jumps. Yeah, so if I don't intervene where Josh is getting attacked and North gets shot. They will essentially die. So I could just leave with Connor and Simon. Although I bet if I mess, if I didn't do anything with Connor fighting the SWAT team there, he probably could have gotten shot and killed at that point in time too. Wow, there is so much in the hold with Marcus. Ninety percent. Wow. Just, like, I have no words on how huge this was. And it's so interesting how everything intersects with each other. In the ship, spot Kara. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff I could have done, but I didn't. I didn't want to risk getting made. That's why. Become deviant. Then again, what would have happened if someone did figure out that I wasn't a deviant? I wonder if they would have brought me directly to Marcus. Holy shit, there's a lot to do. So, all right, what what does this say? Warn Marcus, become deviant. So, if I didn't become deviant, then again, there is so much that would have happened right here on the bottom. I can only imagine what I missed. I can't even think of what... I did not do that would have led to that point. Driving the Jericho with Alice and Luther, which means the top one could have been just driving there with just Alice. If there's a way that I could have potentially lost Luther early on. Karen Alice in the corridor. Yeah, and this is essentially me running for my life. And then it ultimately ends with me and Alice escaping Jericho. But I'm right there, I believe if I moved or protected Alice, I would have gotten killed and either she probably would have gotten killed too or she would have gotten captured and brought to the internment camp that they got set up. Ah, shit, I didn't want to hit continue. Fuck. Oh, no. 
I meant to go to the Marcus flow chart. Damn it. Ah, man, I messed up. I wanted to actually end it right there because that chapter was really long. Oh, no. All right. I'll have to, I'll have to just, I can resume it from here, but I didn't want to, I didn't want to continue. I hit X by accident. All right. So this was really cool. I like that all three of us finally met in the same point, And now our stories have completely converged and intertwined with each other. It's no longer little um, tidbits here and there that are slowly uh, flowing together like little rivers that then converge out into separate rivers and then they kind of go off on their own way. It's really cool how they wrote that and how they made everything connect. But my big question is, how the hell did the FBI find the location of Jericho? Now, my only speculation is they either followed Connor and he didn't know that he was being followed or they figured out the location themselves, which, again, how did they manage to pull that off? Because I had to trick that android by imitating Marcus's voice in order to, for, to have him give up the location. Other than that, he wasn't going to give up the goods for anything. And essentially just stay there, activated in, I guess, what could be android limbo, and not tell the feds anything. So, how the hell did they know where Jericho was? Unless they pieced together that Jericho was the name of a freighter in Detroit, and then they went, okay, this is essentially it. This is where they'll hold up, so let's go. I wouldn't put it past the FBI to figure that out, but it just seems a little too convenient for them to figure out the location of Jericho around the same time that I did, especially since I was on the ship itself at that point in time. But, I don't know, they're just, they're just a bunch of dicks, like, coming in, just... Guns blazing, killing every single one of them. You figure because they got internment camps set up to where they're destroying all the androids, they would just round them up. They wouldn't just go in and just be like, hey, look, deviants, let's kill them. Even though their mission is ultimately to capture Marcus, but it seems like everyone else is just collateral damage. Still, that was really awesome, and Connor was just full-blown badass in that moment. That was awesome. I also had another thought, too. Seeing all the SWAT members going through the corridors of the ship, I really would have liked a, a fourth chapter in this where you are playing as a human and es essentially someone from the SWAT team and, like, you're questioning your own morality going against your orders or something. Be like, you know, is this the right thing to do? Should we really kill these guys? Should we really be shooting them and destroying them even though... All they want to do is just be free and they're portraying all these emotions and they're essentially being more human than we are in these moments. Or at least at the, at the, uh, at the very least, you know, play as Hank. But I feel like playing as Hank would be a little too on the nose. Like, you know, he's such a major player in this game, being part of the, the Troy Police Department. I would like somebody on the outside, not someone that's connected to a deviant like how Hank is with Connor and vice versa. Like, have Hank and Connor's story flow the way it is now, but I'd like somebody on the outside who's human have their story interwoven with Marcus's, Kara's, and Connor's all at the same time as well. I think that would have been a really good touch. Would have added a lot more to the game, but I feel like it would have been nice to have a, a human perspective on this as well. Have them look at everything and be like, yeah, some of this is right, a lot of this is wrong, let's not go about it in this particular way like you could make basically have him play in a ruthless fashion or have him show empathy like connor has and kara and marcus has as well even hank and have him and hank team up because now it's like yeah it's awesome to have androids on your side but to have another human who could think a little more sporadically could be more unpredictable and throw other humans off the trail i think that would have been very very cool but again that's just my thought process, but accidentally hit continue here, so I don't know what we're going to pick up with. I don't know where we are. We're just, we're on a statue here, so we could be pretty much anywhere in Detroit. And I'm going to end it right here, so thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then thrush the bus upon that like button. Keep playing it awesome, and I'll see you all on my next adventure.